Hey, Michael Hellickson here with Club Wealth, here to talk to you about lead follow-up. We know that the three most important things every single agent must master are lead generation, lead follow-up, and lead conversion. So let's get right to it. The single biggest place that agents drop the ball, besides not generating leads, is dropping the ball with the leads they have. They don't even follow up. So let's talk about how quickly do you need to follow up? Well, here's the answer, five minutes. In fact, the difference between following up in five minutes and following up in 10 minutes is a 900% increase if you follow up in five minutes versus following up in 10 minutes where you have a 900% decrease in the number of contacts you will get when you make that phone call. So make that call within the first five minutes. Absolutely massively important. Here's the next thing that cracks me up about real estate agents. I've never understood this. Why do real estate agents fail to do this? They fail to follow up consistently over a long period of time. You've got to be persistent. You've got to be consistent. So check it out. The number of follow-up attempts before stopping most agents, in fact, 48% of all agents will stop following up. In fact, 48% won't even follow up at all. They won't even make a single follow-up call. 25% of the agents will make two follow-up calls and stop prospecting, uh, or stop following up, rather. 12% of the agents out there will make three follow-up calls and stop following up. 4% uh, or excuse me, I'm sorry, 10% of the agents will make four follow-up calls and stop following up. Folks, you have to make your follow-up calls. Watch this. You want to find out how very, very important that is? Check this out. Number of contacts. This is the number of times you speak to somebody on the phone that it takes before you get the sale. We're not talking about the number of calls. The number of calls is much higher than this, right? You've got to call, call, call to get that contact. So, to get to, uh, to the number of contacts it takes to get a sale, 2% of all sales happen on the first contact. 3% of all sales happen on the second contact. 5% of all sales happen on the third contact. And 10% of the sales happen on the fourth contact. Here's the crazy thing. A full 80%, 80%, of all sales happen on the fifth or subsequent contact. You have got to be persistent. You've got to be consistent. You've got to follow up. The money, the fortune, as they say, is in the follow-up. So make sure you're following up like crazy. Now, how do you make your follow-up super simple? All right, one of the things you want to do is you want to have a CRM. Uh, Top Producer is a fantastic CRM. It does a great job. You can funnel all of your leads into that one CRM. Uh, and there's others that will do it as well, but I happen to like Top Producer. Takes all of your leads, you can funnel them all into one single CRM. It will automatically round robin those leads to the agents on your team. If you're the Lone Ranger, don't worry. You're going to need that feature eventually because we're going to grow your team so that you can make massive amounts of money with very little effort. All right, so you're going to round robin those leads to all the agents on your team. It's going to do a great job of tracking them. You've got to manage this in all in one place. You don't want to have to go to 10 different places to manage your leads. All right, now, What's my goal when I'm on that call? This is very, very important. Every single time you make a follow-up call, you gotta know what your goal is. Your goal on that follow-up call is not to make a list or to get a listing or make a sale. That's not your goal. Your goal right now is one thing, and that's to get an appointment. That's it. All you care about right now is set an appointment. As soon as you set an appointment, hang up the phone. That's all you need to worry about when you're making your follow-up calls. Now, in order to do that, we wanna do a land, air, and sea approach it's, it's what I like to call my shock and awe approach to lead follow-up. So what do I want to do? I want to drip campaign them. I'm drip on them, right, with emails. Uh, and so as soon as they come into my CRM, I'm going to email, 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 and I'm going to set them up on that campaign that's going to take them through a process. Uh, then I'm going to call. How often am I going to call? I'm going to call three times a day for the first three days. Then I'm going to call three times a week for the first three weeks. Then I'm going to call three times a, week, a month for the next three months. Essentially, I want to make sure that no matter what, I'm calling at least 12 to 20 times before I give up on a particular lead. This is really important. Follow this, uh, this guideline. Now, 
Can you play with those numbers a little bit? Sure. The whole point, though, is you've got to have consistent follow-up over a long period of time. You've got to be really aggressive in the beginning. Then you've got to be moderately aggressive in the middle. Then you've got to be overly aggressive, or excuse me, uh, not, not as aggressive going forward. That being said, once I get a hold of them, I'm going to adjust my follow-up times. Those follow-up schedules that I just gave you are based on if I haven't reached them, if I haven't spoken to them yet, those are the schedules I'm going to follow. All right. I'm also going to send snail mail. That's part of my land, air, and sea approach, right? So I'm going to drip via email. I'm going to send snail mail, and I'm going to call them on a regular basis. Now, when I call them, by the way, what do I say? What's the first thing I say every time I, someone picks up the phone? Very simple. I just want to make sure I'm not dropping the ball on my end. Here it is again. I just want to make sure I'm not dropping the ball on my end. Say that every time. It disarms people. What happens is it's way better than calling up and saying, hey, are you ready to sell your home? They hate that. But when you say, I just want to make sure I'm not dropping the ball on my end, their instant response nine times out of ten is simply, oh, no, 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 it's not you. It's me. I really appreciate you following up. I just i am not ready yet, or maybe I was thinking about it or whatever. But they're not going to be upset. They're going to appreciate the follow-up. All right. In the next video, we're going to be talking about exactly what to say when you talk to those, those leads to set that appointment and to get that lead converted to an actual appointment. There's some key words, some key phrases that you want to use, and there's a process you want to put them through to ensure that you get every buyer appointment and every listing appointment you possibly can so that you can achieve maximum results in your business as well. All right, this is Michael Hellickson again with Club Well. Thank you so much for joining us today. And remember, you are world class.